that's part of it. The dogs, the cats, the hair, the dirt, her shed. Her old shed had no concrete, just dirt floor. Everyone else was going to skate effects and going to the movies and we had to stay home with Nunna, watch her make pasta. Jonathan, the youngest, would get out of it because he was too small. He would bloody sit inside and watch TV. And all the girls had to learn how to cook. We only got to watch once and if we didn't do it properly, she would yell at us a lot. We didn't use a recipe. We didn't use meals. We don't even have a measuring cup. It's just all by feel and so if you didn't watch her, and you didn't learn from her, you weren't allowed to help. And she was quite bossy, so I would start doing this and she would take over towards the end. And then if your gnocchis weren't the right size or anything, she would take over and she would roll them. She left school when she was eight years old to look after her brothers and sisters. And I remember her one day telling me that she was in the garden. The boys had got home from school and they were playing on something that had landed in the paddock and she didn't know what it was. And then years later we went to the Territory and we were looking at the War Museum and it was a freaking shell from a bomb and they used to jump on it. My nunnal came over on the boat by himself to set up the farm and then she came five years later, six years later. And pretty much, like, she used to set up her garden in a certain way, like the tomatoes would be a certain way, the beans would be a certain way. And a couple of years ago, we went back to Italy to see where she lived, and everything is exactly the same. It's like stepping back in time. Like, she's passed away 18 months ago now, and it just still feels a bit odd being here, being in her house, making her pasta. That was important to her, the family doing everything together. I mean, I feel like Jonathan's my cousin, but I feel like he's my brother. We, we see each other probably more than my siblings. So I didn't grow up with two sisters. I grew up with three sisters and two brothers. I guess I'm grateful that my nunna taught me how to make this. And I got to share that experience with her. And now I can share that experience with my daughter and hopefully she'll ex share the experience with hers and our tradition will live on.